We've all seen and heard the classic stereotypes baby boomers like to throw at us millennials. Moaners, work shy, snowflakes. Well, you know what? They can keep their second homes. We're proud of our unique generation, which is why we've created Millennial AF, the game that exposes your most basic millennial traits, proudly designed by millennials for millennials. So what's the aim of Millennial AF? This game helps you decide who amongst your friends is the most millennial. The player who's collected the most cards at the end of the game is crowned the winner. If you are a millennial, that's a point of pride. If not, you were probably born in the wrong era. Welcome to the Millennial Club. Before you start playing Millennial AF, grab three or more friends to join you. They don't all have to be millennials. Might actually be a more interesting game if they're not. To decide who goes first, find out who last ate smashed avocado on toast, a true millennial staple. They then pick up a card from the box and read it aloud to the group. Who's most likely to rewatch Friends and recoil in horror at how unwoke it is? Amongst your group, decide who that statement fits the best. Take as long as you need. You shouldn't rush a good debate. And nobody can debate like us millennials. The player that everyone decides best fits the statement receives that card as an easy way of keeping score. If there's a tie in terms of the number of votes for players, a card can be shared. We are millennials after all. The role of reading the cards then moves to the left. They pick up another card from the box, repeating the same process of deciding who gets which millennial card. Continue until all 120 cards have been assigned. Then, every player counts up their cards. The one with the most is declared the winner. Thirsty for more? Don't worry if you didn't win the grand prize. In true millennial spirit, even if you only got one card, you're a winner in our eyes. Congrats! If you didn't win any cards, you're clearly not a millennial. You might even be a boomer. Ugh. There's an extra gift to players that were lucky enough to win some cards. Those symbols at the bottom of each card relate to three categories. They act as a millennial horoscope in telling you what type of millennial you are. If you got cards that mostly display the avocado symbol, you're a basic biatch. You can't say no to a bottomless brunch or trying out goat yoga. You're a good, solid millennial. If you've got cards that mostly show the Wi-Fi symbol, you're a digitally dependent kind of millennial. You love tech and all the joy it brings. Netflix, Insta, and those Kermit the Frog memes. And finally, if you've collected cards which mainly contain the leaf symbol, you're a woke warrior, a fierce defender of all things woke, from the environment to racial equality and everything in between. There's no better way of finding out someone's true millennial personality than this highly scientific three symbol system. Thanks for watching. If you need any more help with how to play Millennial AF, check out the instruction booklet that comes with the game. Well, what are you waiting for? Get your mates together and start playing.